it's really easy to think that super successful people are somehow cut from a different cloth. Like they are this Zeus-like god that's been implanted on earth to then achieve these miraculous things no one else can achieve. But there's something that nobody else talks about which is more important. The traits of resilient people. People who suffer the worst things in life and still go on to become great human beings. Now in this video, I want to share what I think is the most fundamental shift to be someone who can overcome almost any obstacle. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now fundamentally, when things go wrong in life, you have two choices. You can cry, complain, and blame and do nothing, or you can decide to get better. Now Lingoda is one of those services that can help you get better in life. So there's been a really cool new language learning model coming out with this company called Lingoda. And basically what it is, is it's a live learning platform for learning foreign languages. And you honestly have the chance to get 100% cash back, regardless of what you end up doing if you attend enough classes. So if you take a class every day for three months with the Sprint program, you can get 100% of your money back. So more than 25,000 people have been through this program. And the thing that's cool about it is that you get live interaction with qualified teachers and there's other students there, usually about three in each class. You get all the learning materials required and meeting people from all over the world and getting quizzed in that sense has a sense of community and makes it easier to stay in it. It goes from April 8th until July 6th. And if you attend 30 classes a month for three months, you get 100% of your money back. So there's English, German, French, and Spanish. But if you sign up before March 24th, with the 49 euro deposit to secure your spot, they'll actually refund your entire tuition in full if you attend the agreed number of classes. So it's really kind of cool. So if that resonates with you guys, you can check out the link below the video and the link in the video there, which will help you figure out how to check out Lingoda for you. So practically speaking, it's a lot like being in the matrix. Something bad happens. Somebody in your family dies. You break a leg. You have to drop out of school due to depression. Something bad, bad happens. And you aren't sure how you're going to go forward. All day you sit there. You're in bed. And you're thinking, why did this happen to me? I hate this. I didn't want that to happen. I did my best. Why is this happening to a good person like me? What is going on here? Like, you pray to God, the unlimited divine being, please help me, please fix this. No answers come. It's in this state where when things are going wrong, when your heart's been detonated, when life has gone to hell, that you begin making the fundamental mistake. And the fundamental mistake is you begin focusing on all the things that are going wrong. It's easy to think about what's gone wrong when you've gained 50 pounds and now you're diabetic. It's easy to think about what's gone wrong when you've tried your hardest to build a business and it's failed. It's easy to think about the things that have gone wrong when you've worked so hard on yourself, asked that person out, got into a relationship, and then it didn't work out, and they said there was something with you that they didn't like. It is easy to become a negative person that focuses on all the things going wrong in your life, all the possibilities that are not happening in those moments. Because when you're in that state, it is so easy when everything has gone wrong to focus on what has gone wrong. But the fundamental trait of the most resilient people in the world that I've learned is that the most resilient people focus on what they want instead of what they don't want. So it's up to you to make the choice. You can either focus on the life and the future you want to build, or you can focus on what you don't want, which is probably what's happening right now. BJ Miller is a palliative care physician, and when he was young, he was with a few friends drinking, climbed up on a train, got electrocuted, and lost three of his limbs, basically right then and right there, after surgery. Now, he could have easily said that my life is over. He could have become an alcoholic, could have committed suicide. He could have decided he was just going to basically live his life as a stump and not do anything. But instead, he chose to focus on what he wanted. And he realized that becoming a physician, helping patients at the end of their lives, he would have a unique kind of empathy because of the experience he went through where he almost died. Now, when things have gone wrong, it is tempting to always focus on what has gone wrong. So the starting point of rebuilding your life when things have gone so bad that you aren't sure how you're going to get back to 
being yourself again, is you start with a very simple thing. This is what I want. I want health. I want this partnership. I want these friends. I want this kind of work life. I want to travel. I want to be happy again. I want to feel good again. I want to be excited about life again. I want to sleep well. I want to feel and look a good weight. You begin with all the things that you want and you make your attention obsessively focused on the things that you want. Now, whether you do that with journaling or with affirmations or just strong arming your thoughts, because what you'll learn is that over the months and the weeks and the years, those things you've been thinking about that you want will automatically start happening because all day your thoughts are saturated with this is what I want. Now, a simple practice you can do as well is you write down on a piece of paper a literal like journal entry. This is what I want in my life. You write down the list of 10 things which is much, with as much emotional resonance as possible. You want it to affect you internally when you read that. So you go through and you write down everything that you want with as much emotional detail as possible. And anytime you feel yourself in that state, you just refer to that letter you've written yourself. And you could review it three, five, ten times a day. So, focus on what you want, not what you don't want. And you can rebuild from almost anything. Alright guys, so I hope that helps. Again, you can check out that special offer I've included from Lingoda. It's a really cool service, so there's a link below. And from there, you can check out my last related videos right over there. <laughs>